Hi guys, this morning we're here at Grunenberg Park so River can play and um, it's a really beautiful park here. It's a big park. There's like three different playgrounds. It probably takes, I don't know, half an hour to walk across the whole park, don't you think? Oh, longer than that, but yeah, we've only been through parts of it. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do some shots here of the park so you can get an idea for the feel of it. Germans really do love their park, so it's kind of awesome. I really like that and I like all the green that's here and just being able to see so much nature here even in the middle of Frankfurt. And many of the trees here are hundreds of years old. Some of them have uh, plaques attached to them or in front of them that uh, tell you when this tree was planted. I have no idea who keeps track of that, <laughs> but uh, it must be one hell of a job. But uh, it, it is blue skies, uh, uh, what is it, 20 degrees, so we're in our 70s, mm -hmm. uh, upper 70s, but uh, even with the humidity, there's a nice cool breeze, it is just perfect in the shade, so yeah. hope you enjoy these shots. Yeah. So we've just been sitting here by this little pavilion here on this old style German benches. All the good benches were taken when we got here. It's pretty crowded since it's Sunday and everything is closed. So we got this other little pavilion here. All kinds of beautiful trees like Gary was talking about. All the kids are playing here. There's the entrance to the park over there. People are playing soccer on the other side. There's all these awesome walking paths here too. And you can really get a feel for there's people on bikes, there's baby strollers, there's all kind of everything here. It's such a beautiful park and a beautiful day. There's like some kind of kids team sports going on right now. Here's a map of the park. You can see like all the different wildflowers that they have and some information, don't let your dog poop here, all that good stuff. And this area right here is Weisenfoot Insectin, that means reserved for insects. So they let all this um, wildlife and plants grow without cutting it so it uh, can help the bees and other insects not to be uh, in danger. And then here we got another walking path going the other way away from the playground. It circles around the whole middle of the park. There's this beautiful grove of trees here, people jogging, people enjoying the sun, and all this grass, all kinds of people having a picnic. Going a little bit away from the playground now, you can see just how big this park really is. Um, this is just like a little portion of it right here um, with this big green open lawn and the trail and then the trail goes up um, this way and on the other side of the trees there's a big other another open grass area and another playground on the other side. We're going to have a great time playing here every time we come. She's over there with her digging and she loves digging. It's kind of awesome. She can stay focused on the sandbox for hours. It's just a great day and perfect weather down here. And you can see how big this park is. There's all these walking paths going around everywhere through the whole thing. Okay, now here's Miss River. She's enjoying her digging this morning. River loves digging. You having fun, baby? I need a water fiesta. A water fiesta, that sounds cool. See, look, there's these little paths that the water goes down right here and over there, and then there's a water pump on the other side. And then the kids can have wet sand to play with and do all their creative little projects over here. And River's over here climbing back up so she can go do the water again. Are you gonna go pump the water again? Cool. There she goes. She's going over to the water pump on the little path. She's gonna wash her hands. The water's going, now she's got her wet sand going on. 